flaccid, wow. erect, lubed, oiled, sitting on a toilet. I've seen everything. Wow. It's never okay. Unless the girl asks for it, do not send her a picture of your penis. Are you sure? <laughs> Listen, let's keep the tone to this show on the right level because we've got Scarlett Morgan here. Hello. Hey, Scarlett. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, excellent. Just had my taps changed by a very yeah, handy... great plumber. Wonderful, amazing plumber. How do we not? How do we do this whole show without doing, thinking of every single? Is it called a double entendre? Like you had your taps yeah, changed? Yeah, you know. What I, mean? I just had my plumbing <laughs> seen too. <laughs> was it leaking? Yeah. Exactly. See what? See what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Anyway. Oh jeez. There's some bloke looking at me over there. Here we are in Service Paradise. A great classic. Afternoon, the sun's going down. It is. There's another one for you, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with the lovely, the beautiful Scarlett Morgan. Hola. How are you? I'm really good, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think we just did this, but yeah, I'm really good. I've had a really good day today. I'm just, just cruising now, yeah. just sitting at home and. You've been in Gladstone a life. lot. What's the go with that? I have. I've been. I've actually been touring a bit more lately, which has been amazingly fun so i've been traveling up to gladstone and just uh, dancing up there and doing shows and i've been over to perth uh, i've just uh, secured some tour dates up in toowoomba wow. as well coming up in august and also possibly in september melbourne right yeah now what sort of when you say shows Mm -hmm. You know, I've known you for a little while, but I really don't know what that really means. Is it the show that I saw at Hollywood Showgirls? When yeah. You, yeah. So I get up on stage and I just carry on a little bit, yeah. bounce around, just do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, I, I, I once said on this podcast with um, Lee and Carlos yes. that, that I saw, um, it was like uh, a moment in time where I had to get Smithers. Smithers and I were carrying in <laughs> My your bathtub. your bathtub, which is covered in <laughs> glitter. You had a yep. you were doing a show because you were the, the Australian penthouse pet of the month yes. at the time. Yeah, yep. and and we're lugging your gear into <laughs> Hollywood Showgirls in Surface Paradise, and I had to say, like, whoa, whoa, hey, Mark, just stop for a minute and acknowledge this as one of the greatest days in a man's life. Where we're, <laughs> you know, we're lugging in a penthouse pet's <laughs> gear. We're like the backstage crew. You guys were, yeah. Covered in glitter. You're my roadies. We ended up in the VIP section. That was a good night. Yeah. It was a very good night. But you know... The bath is bigger now. Oh, hey. I, I upgraded. Well, how do you get that around to Perth? Well, I can't. Uh, it's it's actually a full-size bathtub, yeah. which I had covered. I had it um, vinyl wrapped with red glitter. Wow. It's amazing. So I wow. use that on stage at Sexpo, but yep. I can't really take it anywhere long distance because it's a full-size bathtub, so it's a little bit heavy. Why don't you put wheels on it and like a steering wheel? You get to gigs that way. I could. You don't have a driver's I license. I could put a motor on it. <laughs> Would that work? We were just hassling you out about not having a driver's license before. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. Would I get in trouble if I rode that on the footpath? I don't know. And I had like a little motor on there. Remember People the guy that? Money, so. Remember the guy that had a um? He got done DUI by the cops. For his ride on Esky. Yeah. For being over yeah. the limit. And they got bar stools. Yeah. That's, just that's stick not some Uber. ice in that's the back. Booba. High five. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's a good one. Write that down. I'm warming into this. <laughs> yeah. It's been a crazy day for me. A great day. Mm -hmm. This is my second time in Surface Paradise today. So, you know, when I met you, it was a long time ago. I think you were only 17 or something. We were working in a theatre restaurant. Yes. All right. And, <laughs> and I've often said that, um, uh, you know, that we know. You, you, you've worked at Dracula's Theatre Restaurant, um, another theatre restaurant that we were in that didn't last long, Utopia, mm. and, and all kinds of places, right? And when I, um, it, but I, I've seen you since, like, pop up in all kinds of media, you know, be it Penthouse or, um, you, you know, the other magazines, uh, People Picture, picture people, all yeah. kinds of stuff, even like Gold Coast Bulletin, all the time, regularly, every single year. And I go, that's my mate, you know, I know um, I've known Scarlett since... God, a long time ago. <laughs> and, and then I say, I instantly say this, that um, she's got a body made for sin and she's actually using it without <laughs> being, you know what I'm saying? Like, without being too sinful. Oh, no, no. Well, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, you know, people take great, some people take great photos, some people don't. Some people have assets, some people don't. And, um, 
and so we met you as a as a, a waitress. You know, really, you you weren't yeah. even out of school. I don't think. I don't uh, know. I think I, I was. No idea. I was just out of school, and I showed up at that interview. I don't even know why my mum let me leave the house in that dress. To be honest, because. I look back at that now, I'm like, Mom, what were you thinking? This thing, I'm pretty sure my ass was literally hanging out. It was just this tiny little boob tube thing. And I think, pretty sure I was wearing knee high boots and just makeup, you know, when you're probably said, young, you don't actually know how mate. to do makeup. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know, blue eyeshadow and red lipstick. And uh, yeah. of course I got the freaking job. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, yeah. I mean, honestly. Honestly, some people have it and some people don't. And what I find from knowing you is like lugging in bathtubs and all that sort of stuff <laughs> and watching your show, it's a show. You it know is. what I'm saying? Like, it and is. only some people can actually do that. I love And being carry on off stage. the whole industry without um, getting into too much trouble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, is it fun? It's the most amazing, amazing thing ever. I mean, you know, some people get addicted to drugs some people get addicted to alcohol i don't need drugs or alcohol to get on stage because i just love it so much that's my drug is the adrenaline it's just yeah i live yeah. for that and yeah that's what i mean it's just another show explain mm. to me what happens though when when you do a show like say in you know like me i've got this other cover band thing <laughs> you do your show that's exactly what it is it's the same every time you go out sort of thing yeah. you're doing it so the people out there are kind of always the same you've got your different crowds yeah so i could imagine in in some clubs that you do your show in you've got exactly the same kind of crowd no matter where you go you know tough guys over here yeah, these guys so. the suave dudes that you know <laughs> and but do you like how do you fend them off i could i could let me put it this way i couldn't think of anything tougher than being a woman a lot of times, Aww. like having creeps. No, this, this constant. In, see, to be a man, it's like if anyone comes near you, go like, oh, you know. But to be a woman, it's this relentless, like, rah, rah, <laughs> like we whistle out the street. We're constantly staring, you know, that sort of stuff yeah. that we. I'm just as that's bad. So, though. <laughs> yeah, but, but it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. But, you know, creeps need love too. But, you know, when you're on world. stage, like everyone's. They're all there and they're all just together and they're there to see you and they're there to watch you. So you've got to give everyone a bit of love. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. Love everyone. No that one's... nerd guy standing over in the corner that loves Star Wars. I love Star Wars too. The, the really suave guy standing at the bar drinking his, you know, top shelf scotch. I really like scotch. So right. we could bond over that, you know, just the usual tradie guys, you know. Yeah. Everyone. I love everybody. I really, I love talking to people because you just never know who you're going to meet or the stories that you're going to hear. Everybody's different. You just learn so much just yeah. from that. But do you get that feeling like, obviously they're dudes, they're, they're, they're really trying to creep onto you. Like there's got to be a time and they, they, yeah, you are naturally a friendly person. So yeah, but yeah. they're thinking, yeah, I'm the one, I'm the one, <laughs> yes, you know? So that must come a time in every woman's life. In every woman's day where they're like, oh, hang on a minute, you know, I've got to actually put up some sort of guard here. Must happen, you know, I'm asking as a dude. Well, I guess. Can you tell us all so we know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm kind of naive when it comes to that because I'm just right. friendly to everybody. Okay. So, you know, I could talk to anyone and then just walk away. Oh, thank you. You know, Have a good night. Yeah. And then just get on with life and. Oh, right, here's a good one. I really I think past that. Okay. I haven't really been to Perth for maybe 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Is Australia... Okay, yeah, I come to think, I haven't really been around a lot lately. Are the people exactly the same in Perth? Is there becoming no. like a difference? Yeah. No, Perth is completely different. Everyone's so just cruisy and laid back over there. It's wonderful. Right. They're a bit slow. Okay. Not retarded slow. Can I say retarded? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> No, they're like, they're, it's just a lot more laid back over there. I guess it's a, like the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast. Okay. There's a noticeable difference between the people here and the people up there. Um, you go to restaurants and there's not this big sense of urgency to get your food out to you. You, you get it when it's ready. Right. Um, there's a lot of Italians there. Or, uh, or I, when I went there, there's a lot mm. of like, even though they don't look Italian, but that's a history. That's where okay. the boat would land in Fremantle. Oh, yeah. So loads of... Immigrants actually first came to Perth. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, there's this different sort of 
yeah, everyone's like a rich from growing veggies and yeah, that's what I found. And a lot of the guys that I raced with and whatnot, they're all like Pino Priolo and uh, <laughs> all these sort of Italian names, but they're yep. s- total Aussie blokes, mate. But they're they're full on Aussie blokes from Perth. <laughs> so yeah, they are com- are different. But I I figure ten years later they've got to be times ten. Yeah, I didn't really notice. See, I didn't get to go out very much while I was there, though. I was there for two weeks, and I worked every night except for a Monday, Right. I think. So on the Monday, I went out. Uh, I went over to Scarborough Beach and yep. ate some pizza yep. and then went home and had a nap because I was just exhausted after doing uh, two to three shows every night on stage and then working until close as well. Wow. It was wonderful, though. Yeah. Everyone over there is so nice. Yeah. So nice. How do you get your gigs? Is it like a band? Do you have an agent or do you... No, I do everything myself. Yeah? Just, um, yeah, if I want to go somewhere, I'll just sort of chase up, okay. chase people up and ask questions and be like, oh, so how do I... Wow. Like this show... Um... So it's like a, like I was talking the other day to a, a lady comedian, Ellen Briggs, mm-hmm. and she was... It blew my mind. She came to this pub that we're in and she just walked in alone. She got the gig alone. But she just walked all the, drove her all the way from Mullumbimby, mm-hmm. arrived at the Crumman Creek Tavern, did her show. Everyone was so intimidated by how funny oh. she was that she stood at the bar for five minutes, not a sing. I, I was the only one that went, I've got to say something. Yeah. But I couldn't even, I was like, you were great. But, you know, I was just sort of speechless. And I, and I looked around, everyone else was. They were, you know, is it like that in your world? Yeah, pretty much. I generally, I'm a bit of a lone wolf, so I'll just, you know, show up and, um, and do my thing and hang out and yeah, have right. fun. And yeah, it's, a lot of times, yeah, people don't really come up and talk to you. You have to go and find them, which is a bit annoying because I tend to be a little bit shy mm. in social situations as well. So I like it when people come up and talk to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It would be exactly like the comedy scene, wouldn't mm. it? You're getting your own show. You often have to show up alone if you're out of town. Yeah. People laugh at me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can you tell me technically, again, I'm into the, you know, the, when you go from your motel to the show, mm-hmm. okay, the plate, the, yeah, are you dressed to the nines there, like, as they say, are you dressed up there, mm-hmm. do you make an entrance, or do you just show up like you would, and, and then, and it's the backstage area, and you get, oh, what, what's that? It depends on the event, sometimes, because I prefer to just stay close by and walk in, so I'm there with my suitcase and everything, so if I'm lugging all my own gear I want to have you know, sensible shoes and nice warm clothes if it's if it's winter <laughs> um but other times if I know I have to walk in if I have to walk into a room full of people I want to look good I don't want to oh there's scarlet in her pajamas yeah, right. you know you have to you yeah, go in and make putting it on your pow yeah 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 so so either way really <laughs> right. that is pretty interesting what's the show right now so the one I saw you do was um, oh, that was Snow, the White. Snow White one. That was great. I've been doing a um, a really fun sailor show yep. lately, which I really love. But I'm starting to get a bit over it, so I'm trying to put some more ideas together in my head. Which is, I'm like, oh, what if I did this? And it's like, oh, yeah, that's going to cost about ten grand. No. <laughs> yep, no pyrotechnics. Yeah. Oh, I can use sparklers. Oh, okay. Are you sparklers? Yeah. That's fun. Have you seen anyone else do a completely over the top show, like like wow! I've seen so many. Oh, the the level of showgirls over in Perth is just insane. When I arrived, uh, the first time I was over there, I was actually terrified to go on stage because the girls that are performing there are just—it's just epic, really? amazing, like aerials, burlesque, everything, anything and any like everything you could think of that would go to a good show. Just yeah, well, just playing with my mic here <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah like amazing girls over there wow mm. so the scene would you say that the scene on the gold coast is big or small i know i've, I've been I to a lot of clubs in adelaide kind of small for show girls over here you've just more got your strippers um and you do have to do like stage routines so right. but usually it's like 15 minutes of just you know shaking around and right. and okay. whatnot but when you actually have to put on a full choreographed show it's it's a little bit different. Interesting. Not okay. That, not that mine are really fully choreographed either. <laughs> but they've got a theme. They've got a theme, and a I know what I know what I do in different parts of each song. But I kind of just wing it, right. which probably isn't the best. But oh, yeah. Yeah. it makes it more fun. Yeah. It's fun for me. Have you been to Adelaide? 
I've not been to Adelaide yet. Okay. No, I'd that, like to. They've that was got... actually my first um, club experience. Really? And there was a few. Actually, mm. we went to a few.